Conservative New Media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion and the super genius. I've got a science video here for you, and this is some amazing stuff. Do you know that the sun, it's very powerful, has a lot of all kinds of radiation, emissions, plasma, everything like that. It generates, obviously, an EM spectrum and heat that powers up the earth and really the whole solar system, and, but it also protects us, right? It protects the entire solar system. There's so much power and force coming out from the sun that it blocks these interstellar radiation particles that could really do damage to uh, you know people on earth and stuff like that. So the solar wind, the force from the sun basically creates this, this shield, this field around the solar system uh, and but it also has its own force and its own power if the earth was unshielded the, the solar wind itself could do significant damage to the earth and uh, we see some of these effects with Venus so and Venus is closer it's a second planet to the Sun so when the Sun hits Venus with the solar wind with the, with that when that power from the Sun hits it it actually strips out hydrogen and oxygen atoms the things that would you know make water but also you know we need you know oxygen to breathe in, in, in humans do on earth and stuff like that so it leaves us this this noxious you know heavy sulfur and other kinds of atmosphere on venus greenhouse gas stuff like that now the reason why the earth isn't uh blasted uh, to anywhere near the same degree and it, it, we're protected by a magnetic field because of the iron core of the earth as it spins it generates from the poles this magnetic field that helps buffer and shield us from the solar wind of the sun now of course sunlight uv rays heat energy does come in through our atmosphere and that has a lot of different effects obviously you know it, 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 it helps plants grow it gives us heat you know all kinds of different things like that one of the things it does is it affects weather so you know when you have uh, the hotter you know the, as, as they basically the hot air and water from around the equator will generate heat and see it, you know it, it's kind of like I believe I'm gonna get this right I hope I get it right entropy right basically this is a basic scientific principle you know, uh, things that are hot want to basically find it, its way in, in, into cool. The hot air will, and, and water will push up into the north. The cool air and water will, will push down into the south. And this creates different currents around the world. And we can see some of this like around, you know, the uh, uh, Gulf of Mexico, uh, in, in, in uh, Florida, near up, up the eastern coast of the, of the United States seaboard. And also, but beyond just within uh, on the surface there's things that are going on in currents and different activity within the current and weather patterns but there's also the stuff that happens underneath at, at deeper levels so you have multiple layers of different currents and different things going on it's very interesting to see the earth as this fantastic ecosystem and really in a broader sense you know we have this immense ecosystem of the solar system and even the universe but certainly within our solar system it's very interesting the relationship between the earth and the sun you think of all the, the I mean it's so amazing when you think about all the various things that have to sort of go on for life to exist as it does right now on earth what do you think about that that's pretty cool huh I love science I love technology I like learning about stuff especially the space stuff what do you think about it where are you at on this Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it on your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.